Welcome back, everybody. My name is Philip. You haven't visited the channel yet. This is the Oxman Garage. All right, so today's episode, gotta do a couple things. Let's take a look. So it's in here for a throw bearing, which we're still waiting on. That should be here shortly. But I just ordered myself some coilovers, so I'm gonna get those in. Also, my sunroof hasn't worked say, for a couple years now, and I actually just found myself a used sunroof motor that works. And also, this sunroof leaks between the seals, so I'm going to be taking this out and taking the glass out. So I'm just going to take the whole assembly out, take the glass out, and I'm going to seal it up better for it to work. Well, really not for it to work, but for it to not leak. And then also, while it's already out the assembly, we're going to put that sunroof motor in. So let's get busy. Let's get the rest of the wheels off. Let's get the coilovers out and let's get the sunroof assembly out and do that while this car is already up on jack stands and already being worked on. All right, got the wheels and tires right there, taking off the car. Before it gets too much later, I'm gonna take the sunroof out of the car and get the glass out so I can reseal it from it leaking. I will post a picture right here. And that's where it's been leaking from. And just need to fix that. Typically they, you know, water gets through uh, this seal right here. And obviously you can't get them really new. So you take off, you know, take the glass out and just reseal it to the best of your ability. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So let's get that assembly out of the car. All you gotta do is take out is uh, six bolts and get these drains uh, line, take it off. All right, in the car. So take off, I got four drains. So two in the front, two in the back. I have a pick and a screwdriver to try to take this off. Don't create any problems. Don't make this any worse. And then I got my impact with a 10 millimeter and I'll take these six out. So there's three on each side. That's one, two, and three. And then on the other side as well. And then this whole assembly with the uh, sunroof motor and everything, this whole assembly comes out. And there you have it. Got the sunroof assembly out of the car. Got the glass, got the frame and the slide. So that's all out. There's uh, six, you can see them right there, torques, there's six volt. So you're on each side to get the glass out. So we'll do that so we can start working on that and get the motor out so we can wait for the replacement that still hasn't shown up yet, but that should be soon. And also, can clean up all that mess because it's already dirty. It's only been on there a year. It's fine, it's starting to get a little hot in here. Uh, this is down, but that window is not. But, you know, good old Dodge. We got Rollins in the back. <laughs> no power needed. And also clean out some of the stuff I have back here too. It's not too bad, but clean it up. Let's get this glass out, get that sealed, and then we'll knock out the coil levers, take them off, and wait for the other ones to show up in the mail. And that'll be, uh, I'll be in today for you. So to get the motor off, it's not too hard. You undo this clip, which was right there. I did that off camera, so I didn't break anything. And then there is three screws, one, two, three, and then this uh, wire tie from factory to break off. So let me get some snips. And I think these are, they look like eight. So let me go grab an eight and some snips. Got snips, so. That is now gone. And now got these three eight mils. And yeah, we're gonna do it with this bad boy. We're just taking it out. As long as we're careful, should be good. It is plastic, so you gotta be a little gentle with it. Uh, that one's gonna be a pain to do on camera. Might, yep. I'm gonna have to do that one off camera. All right, so that literally just comes off. And, oh, I guess I gotta take undo that one, but that's just held in there by a little clip. And actually makes me happy, because that, I don't know if it was broken prior or not, but the little clippy clip was uh, very brittle, and literally as soon as I touched it, it broke off. But it looks like, nope, nope, it's staying. There's two connectors, I'm wrong, so it is staying. So you got this connector here, and this connector here to get off. And well, there's your motor that we can uh, yeet. <laughs> but 
clean this up a little bit because uh, that is definitely all gunked up and re-grease it and then let's get this gloss off so we can get that re-sealed. All right, got my T25 bit and we're gonna take all these off. But you can see on these front ones, you see how bad that is and uh, the worst one of them all, uh, yeah, right there. That's terrible. So we're gonna see how much of this I'm gonna have to clean up. But you can see the water's been getting through and eating away at the uh, coating. And well, that's the obvious leak. So when you take the glass out of the frame, you can definitely see where all that rust is coming through. So I'm gonna have to clean all this up. All the rust around here, all the rust right there. You know, and you can physically see water coming in through right there, which the glass is, I mean, it leaks from the edges, but comes in through the seam and then it goes above this and leaks between so that's great now that will have to get all cleaned up look at all this rust no wonder it's no wonder it's leaking that's terrible yeah, it's just i'm gonna have to go get i don't have it here i'm gonna have to go get a uh a rough brush and then i'm gonna have to get some sandpaper to clean this all up and then I'm gonna take this off like I was already planning on doing so I could silicone it, but I'm gonna have to do a heck of a lot more work than I thought I was going to. This is way worse than I expected. All right, got the trim off of the sunroof. The bond here is still pretty decent, it's not terrible. I ran a screwdriver um, right below the glass, just a little bit in and all the way around. And all this metal is pretty solid. So I am gonna go and get uh, some brushes, you know, some like really coarse brushes, like nothing that's going to scratch the glass or anything like that, but it's to try to remove as much of this rust debris from all the way around. I mean, I still have a solid lip here. Everything looks solid. And I'll clean this all up. I'll clean both sides, front and back, tape it off, uh, spray paint it with rust -Oleum black, just to seal it up, do the best that I can. So I can't get a new sunroof glass right now and nobody makes it maybe someday in the, the future because these cars are, you know, sought after with people like they have a good following. But then I have the trim piece that's in the car. I'll clean that piece up too and then use some RTV, seal it up and pray that fixes the leaky problem. But I mean, obviously we can definitely tell it's been leaking for some time and this is unfortunately really common in these cars. And I'm also hoping that Maybe we'll, this video will help one other person out or at least give them the courage to do this themselves because this can be quite daunting and everybody's going to be afraid to break the glass. But, I mean, it's tempered. It shouldn't break. Unless you do something really bad like torque it really bad or drop something on it. It's not going to break. But, yeah. Uh, I'm going to work on getting some coilovers off so we can finish this up and call it a day. The physical frame itself, though, looks great. Uh, plastic looks in good shape. Nothing's broken. I'm going to do a once-over with everything and clean this up. But honestly, this whole thing looks great. And I think I'm going to change the color of this. So what better time to do that with this out of the car already? Because to get this thing out, you have to take the frame out. And it's a pain to get it out of here. I mean, it's not terrible. You take these clips off without breaking them and then it slides off. But it's still a pain. But yeah, I mean, this... This doesn't look terrible. Everything looks like it's working and normal, you know, looks like it, you know, working as it should. So that's, that's at least some good news that it's not quite as bad as it could be, but it's definitely worse than I thought. All right. So we got the front coilovers off. They're both off on both sides. This one gave me a pain. One of the bolts is completely seized. I rounded it off. That literally took me like 40 minutes to get off, but hey, it's off. We're good to go. We're done. The rears, on the other hand, I thought the hardest part of the rears was going to be the sway bar links, and they are both off. And all the bolts on the top are broken loose, but the two bolts on the back of the hub on both of these are seized. So I sprayed them with Freeall, so next couple days I'll come back out, and hopefully they will just turn pretty easily. Literally, wouldn't I even budge with the three, actually no, with the two foot breaker bar. So, well, half inch. It's sure broken. Don't know why, I guess it's just been that long. I haven't messed with these coilovers since like 2015. So it's been like seven years, so I get it. Well, that's gonna wrap up things here for today's video. If you've stayed this long and seen the whole video, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel and trying to 
raise it up for the subs, trying to see where I can go for 2022. Like squad, please go smash that like button for me. I got a bunch of things uh, in the works to get uh, done this year. Obviously, get the neon finished. I got a quote to get it painted, so we'll probably get that done sometime in 2022, along with things with the truck, the Corvette, and the Skyline. El Camino's pretty much not going to really touch with it. Probably just go out, enjoy, drive it with it for a little bit, but for the most part, nothing's wrong with it. <laughs> just normal oil change, normal wear and tear. Corvette. Skyline, truck, and neon, obviously, they're all works in progress. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like Squad, please go smash that like button for me. Next episode, we'll get the uh, sun cleaned up and spray painted uh, black so we can get it resealed, put the, uh, the old trim back on it, get these coilovers off, and hopefully by that time, the new coilovers will be in, so we'll just be putting those back into the car. I want to refinish the trunk and the hood and i found a good system that i could do it myself so i'm probably gonna do that too and i'll hope with a bunch of other projects i have planned so stay tuned until next time